In Aruba, we have a very diverse uh, traffic coming into the airport. Um, around 75% of our traffic comes from North America, the Caribbean around 5%, 5% Dutch Caribbean and 7% Europe. So very much dominated by the U.S. market, but one of our strategy as an airport is to diversify our traffic and hence the reason why we're also attending this event today. I think in terms of if we take a look at our network, in terms of our connectivity, as already mentioned, um, we are very well connected in the U.S. North America market. Where we see a gap or a void that we would like to fill is the fact that we would like to see more inter-island or Caribbean connectivity, more affordable, more reliable connectivity. And that is the reason why we have all these meetings with all the airlines. We are meeting with Adajet, Sky High, Air Century, um, because this is very important for us. We believe that there is a common culture between all these islands. All of them are very unique in their own. Um, in terms of tourist um, destination, but we see there's a lot of local connectivity that still needs to be improved. And that is the reason and one of our agenda points in our meetings today. Yes, the Aruba Airport has been constructed years ago to, um, to facilitate 2.3 million passengers. So we're building for the future, we're building to Gateway 2030. Um, there's where we would like to expand the infrastructure at the airport um, to be able to handle 2.9 million passengers. Um, the project is going very well. Um, we would like to even see it go faster because of the driving demand to the destination. Um, but the final date would be somewhere end of 2025. Hopefully we'll be uh, finalizing phase one and two.